everyone and welcome back to the happy power channel today's date is 10 16 2020 and today we have for you guys today's daily easy fresh now as always we hope you guys end up enjoying this video and to give back to you guys as much as possible i try to do weekly giveaways every single friday and today is actually that day so for a chance to win today of a V-Buck card or a skin or a battle pass, like today's video, be subscribed with the bell notification on, and comment down below with your Epic Games name and or display name. And once again, as a friendly reminder, I am now partnered with gfuel.com, so to save 30% off right now on the entire website, use code HAPPY at the checkout. Again, thanks for watching, and without further ado, let's just hop directly into today's Daily Easy Fresh. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, now let's get started. So, coming directly from Tiger Hyper, he just had this to say. The Fortnite staging servers have been updated again with 14.40. The old build was 186, the new build is 194. Simply put, Epic is testing a newer version of V14.40. To top things off, also coming directly from Sizzy, he had this to say just yesterday. V14.40 has been certified for the Nintendo Switch, we should be seeing it next week. So yes guys, for the very first time in probably a few years now, we are actually getting two back-to-back -back downtime updates. So V14.30 was this week, and now V14.40 will now be next week over on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday at the very latest. And yes, it will be a downtime update, and yes, it will feature tons of brand new stuff for a Halloween event, for Nightmares 2020, and possibly some stuff about the upcoming Galactus first, I guess the Fortnite characters event. So a lot of great stuff to look forward to in this month of Fortnite. So again, be sure to have that bell notification on to stay up to date in all things Fortnite related. Into our first real topic coming directly from Sweezy, he had this to say. Here is a preview of the entirely new item shop. Credit to, not gonna say that guy's name, we'll call him LOL, and Matthew. And roll that clip. All right, a very, very clean end of shop. I am super looking forward to seeing this actually get released into the game for everyone, because as you guys know, only a very few amount of people currently have this item shop, but it should be out relatively soon for every single person. Now, coming directly from Matt Theo, he also just posted this. Daredevil bundle and double agent bundle with the new item shop design. Daredevil hit the item shop on October 17th. The double agent bundle was most likely added just for testing. And of course, roll that clip. Alright, and again, the new item shop looks absolutely just incredible and super freaking clean. It's your next for the topic, a bunch of stuff for Fortnite Nightmares coming directly from Mango. Fortnite Nightmares Skin Info A male Fancy Kevin skin set plus wrap will be coming this year to Fortnite Nightmares 2020. This outfit will be a new addition to the Cube series. Materials exist in the files and some upcoming CIDs I obtained back this up. Concept artists do your worst. So yes guys, Kevin is now returning as a fancy version for Fortnite Nightmares 2020. Now everyone speculates it's actually based off this concept that's actually coming from a guy named Andrito. So he just tweeted this out a few days ago. 
Dr. Ken and Mr. Vin. Reactive skin concept. Change your style with your own emote. So there's actually a quite a high chance that this actually could be the upcoming skin. The one left by the way, but yeah, it could actually be the upcoming fancy version of Kevin. What do you think that the fancy Kevin skin will look like? This or something else? And to our next Fortnite topic, you guys are gonna explode with happiness because it looks like coming directly from Kumar, he has now found a bunch of stuff for Winterfest 2020, aka the event for uh, basically Christmas. So he just said this, I found the Winterfest 2020 scene in the Fortnite files. It could be for Save the World instead of Battle Royale, I'm not quite sure just yet. Also, both winter scenes have a sled in them. Sledding for mobility next season possible. And yes guys, we all know for a fact that this season will end around Christmas time, so Season 5 is based on the Christmas theme. So we actually could be seeing a new mobility item that could very well be this upcoming sleigh. So a massive, massive find in the Fortnite community, especially for the upcoming Winterfest 2020 event. Now to top things off, he also posted this for Winter 2020. I found the new Winter 2020 Fortnite lobby in the files. I had to texture it myself, so it might be looking a little bit different when it's finally inside the game. Do you want to build a snowman? And again, these are absolutely just completely massive finds. Now keep in mind, it could be for Save the World or it could be for Battle Royale. We'll have to simply wait and see, but this is actually extremely massive finds. So a big shout out to Kumar for finding this in the Fortnite files. So what is your favorite holiday, Halloween or the Christmas event in Fortnite? Leave your theories down below as far as your theories on what's going to be better this year for 2020. And to our next Fortnite topic, also coming directly from Kumar, he just had this to say. The Season 14 Love Event Location, Lobby Event renamed from Foundation 3, is on the Hell Carrier, which is placed at 615.85mm east and 408.14mm vertically in the air shown below. Ignore the white buildings. I have not finished texturing out everything just yet. So yes guys, the actual brand new event for this season will take place on the Hell Carrier, located right above the agency. So it's definitely pretty interesting and I'm really curious to see what your theories are about the upcoming event and why it's on top of the Hell Carrier. And now for our last and final Fortnite topic coming directly from Spooky Glex, he just had this to say. The new Fortnite exclusive Wildcat Bundle will fish release in Europe, USA, and Korea on Friday the 30th of October. Nintendo has not announced any date just yet though. Apparently New Zealand and Australia will also be getting this bundle. And of course, here's a sneak preview of the upcoming PNGs of the upcoming pack. Alright, so awesome stuff right there. That should be out relatively soon, by the end of the month. So let me know in the comments below, will you guys be ordering this as a pre-order or purchasing it for a new Switch? Now as far as today's video goes, unfortunately that's all I have for you guys as of right now. I have a lot more stuff for tomorrow, especially covering the 14.40 update and what to expect. So be sure to have the bell notification on, use code HAPPY at the G Field checkout for 30% off, and use code ALTMARS in the Fortnite item shop to support me and support a creator. Again, thanks for watching, I hope to see you guys back for tomorrow's videos, and as always, stay happy. I walk to you, so I can be close to you, it's really simple if you look at it that way. Mm. Time that we get by, with money, we don't know. It's empty, but eyes are full anyway hey. Playing like children And love like Kyra and Jay You were too good for me But I wanted you anyway I always loved you Over my head Even when you lived alone To make your parents mad Say goodbye